Grime is the least experimental genre. Sick Lee. I'm not... No, it looks horrible in your mouth. Let's take a look at the set or what we're in for today. And this is us. Look at us. Looking like Lord and Lordette of the Manor. I really didn't appreciate what you did the other day. <laughs> what? You're standing there right now going, what's he going to say? What's he going to say? One of my good friends was friend zoned by you. Oh! Hey, I'm Calux. And I'm Maya Jamma. And today, SkyQ have brought us together to talk about all of the things that we watch and listen to. But before we get into that, you said off camera that the only content that you really consume is Calyx content, right? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Today's video is going to be a quite a quick one. Very easy. Yeah. Straight off the dome, I yeah. think. Yeah. Well, these are actually SkyQ cards. Yeah, Q. And uh, they're filled with different things. Games, interviews, we're going to have a go. We have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know what's so. going to happen. I didn't get a lawyer to check through this either first, so hopefully nothing <laughs> incriminating. Stick okay. Stick down. Right, I'm going first. All right, what we got? Predict which songs will be on your Spotify rap this year. Okay, what have I listened to loads? Young Bane, Table for Two. Mm -hmm. I've, I've rinsed about a million times. Brent Thiers, Talk to You, and Clouded. Probably loads of Brent as well, I just okay. love him. Uh, Givian, do you know Givian? No. He does the song on the Drake song. Do any baby want oh, you mad. mad. Yeah, him. He's, he's got loads of songs, yeah, oh, and right. he's great. Well, there you go. Yeah, I'll leave it as that. Kind of the opposite end, I'd say like Juice World. Okay, yeah, I liked him. So basically, I have this playlist. It's called Chillux, Chillux, Calux, Chillux, Chillux. Did you make it yourself? Yeah. Oh. I just put it on every day, shuffle, so I basically know every single song in there off the heart. They're so random. It's like Juice World to like Leanne Le Havis, like Dolly Parton. Okay, next one. Before the days of the internet, which TV shows did you watch the most? Cramp Twins. Loved a Cramp Twin. Fairly Odd Parents. Odd Parents, Fairly Odd Parents. Ones and Wings, Floody Crowny Things. Simpsons, Robot Wars. I knew about it, but it yeah. wasn't my bag, yeah. I basically only had a pick of like four channels because I didn't have Sky when I was younger or like anything like that. So apart from that, yeah, those those four. At my auntie's house, she had all the channels. So I'd go there and watch like Disney Channel and Cartoon Network and all of that. Why well, used to like wild and out? I was a bit ahead of my time. What's that? It's Nick Cannon's show on MTV. Oh. And it was like a like <laughs> battle kind of show where they'd have two teams and they'd do disc battles and things like that. It's kind of similar to the show I do now, which is called Don't Hate the Players on ITV. Don't hate the players on ITV too. Name a TV show that you've told everyone they must watch. Must was in caps, by the way. Must watch. Gangs of London, which is on Sky. 1010. I'm not usually that impressed by, you know, like explosions and things like that on films, but not gonna lie, if you're in a zone and you've got the speakers on, it can, you know? Yeah, and it keeps you. you awake because you have a tendency to fall asleep. Keeps you awake, keeps your attention going. There's always something shooty going on. Someone's yeah. dying here, there. And the actors are amazing in it, so Gangs of London. I haven't watched it, so I will. Okay, Euphoria. Yeah. Bang. Really Nerd. big banger. Everyone I meet, I'm like, the soundtrack, how it was shot. Didn't it like revolutionize makeup in America? Loads. Zendaya. I'm, I'm, not, I'm obsessed with her as well. Yeah. Love her. <laughs> Say less. <laughs> All right, what's the toughest or strangest fitness trend you've ever tried? Because you are so hench. <laughs> like, you must have so. <laughs> I do have a bit of a banger though. I've got a bit of a banger. We did this thing called Fitness Feb. Yeah. So it was 28 days last year of pure fitness. And why I didn't want to lose was because the two bottom people had to buy Nobu for everyone else. Ah, uh, Nobu's not cheap, is it? Guess the bill. How many of you? 11. Oh, and they're all like big boys. Um, <laughs> maybe about three, four grand. Add 10. Hey, bill reaction. <laughs> That's so much money on food and you're just going to poo it out after. Oh, it's good poo. It's pretty poo when you've been to Nobu. <laughs> I don't really exercise unless I'm about to go on holiday or be in a bikini or something. So like a week before, two weeks before, I'll just go ham. Like, that actually makes a difference. For now. I don't recommend it. I don't think you should try it at home. Basically like squat around my house and like tie ankle weights on me when I'm going about my day and then wow. just like do everything weighted and like kind of just dance around extra. Right. Final. It's disorderly time. Okay, um, 
Welcome to Disorderly. Spin the wheel, then turn over a card. Whatever it lands on, use that method to help the other person guess the TV show, film, song, or celeb. So, so spin this. Spin the wheel and turn over a card. Okay. So give it a proper like. Kazoo. So you're says. kazooing whatever it says on. I've actually had one of these before. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Know my way around a kazoo. Don't really. I've tried it once. <laughs> What's the name of the song though? Um, in heaven, there's no place like in heaven that we can <laughs> see. <laughs> so you're really just showing me up at the moment. We're breaking free. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't but that was that. near enough. Alright, I'm giving this the biggest spin it's ever felt in its entire life. Spin the shit out of it. What are you saying? We go from this to our own game show. Yeah, I think this is a great start. I'm drawing. Oh. It's a nice little face to number one, not two. Is that you? A number two haircut. What is it? It's a face, smiling. Keep going. Smiley face, little man. No, head. not a face. Uh, head. Heady, heady one. Heady one? Thank you. <laughs> Get rid of that. Done. And now, time to hear your spicy opinions. Okay. Interrogation. <laughs> right. Welcome to Spicy Opinions. On the cards in front of you are some spicy opinions. And you've got to guess whether it's the truth or a lie, and vice versa. So we're going to see how good of a liar both of us are. My liar, Callum, pants on fire. Okay, grime is the least experimental genre. This is true because it's very basic. All you do is whatever comes out of your mind. Yeah, yeah, you straight out the mouth. Yeah, you definitely say this, wouldn't you? It's not very experimental. It's like nursery rhymes, just flung out with some disses inside. There was not much eye contact there. No, I was, I was. False. Yeah, I mean, I don't believe that. <laughs> you would Damn. never say that. I'll show you how it's done. I'm not a good liar. Kendrick Lamar is a terrible artist. Full stop. Turn over the next card. <laughs> Who's that then? That's you. Okay, that's you with a damn hat on, which is Kendrick's thing, isn't it? Yeah, but um, to be honest, I bought that hat because it said damn on it. Mm. Uh, I didn't even know that I had any affiliation to Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, because damn's damn, isn't it? But you either love Drake or you love Kendrick. I love Drake. Oh. Simple as, so yeah. You can't Kendrick love Lamar both. is a terrible artist, full stop. Actually, no, it was quite a good lie. It was yeah. quite a good lie because if I didn't see this, I would have believed you. Really? But it was the hat that did it for oh, me. Oh, okay. So. So it's a lie. That's a lie. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> Got it! It's the truth. Oh, that is actually true. Yeah, I probably went to seven Drake concerts. Oh, did you? <laughs> I went to a lot. Oh, did you get a pick? <laughs> I did not. He has no idea who I am. No. After this, though... <laughs> Keep it down! <laughs> well, thank you very much. Let's go to the diner. Thank you very much. Welcome to Snackable. We'll shortly be serving you your favourite snacks to eat whilst you watch the telly. Bone apple teeth. Okay, well this is definitely not mine. Well, I can inform you that this is in fact mine. And okay. I will uh, teach you what to do. So, apple cheese and jam. Oh, mate. Take your knife. But this is normal strawberry jam. Yeah, what's wrong? What do you want? You're supposed to have chutney or like no, a no, 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 mango no, 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 situation. No, 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 no. We're in my world right now, okay? okay? Half an apple in half. Half. Yeah. A dab of cheese. Um, cheers. Oh, yep, yep. Now wait for the reaction. They're not that bad. No, let it sink in. Um, sink in. That's all right, mate. Mm -hmm. If I bring this to you for Netflix and chill, what are you saying? I'm not really going to be on it because the cheese is going to like Nightmares. interrupt the yeah, interrupt the night pattern. Okay, cool. Mm. But is that what you use it for? Uh, it depends. You've got to just judge the girl, really. So, no vegans. <laughs> <laughs> no vegans can enjoy this. I haven't yet dated one. No vegan dating? No. Neither, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. I'm not angry at it. Are you going to rate out of 10? My rating out of 10 would be a 6. Thank you, I'll take a 6. All right. Well, Love something cheese. else is on our way. Okay. So, I think I know what's happened here. Well, I want to know what's happened here because what the hell is this? <laughs> it looks like oh. something disgusting. <laughs> so, this is condensed milk. I'm just going to go for it, okay? What, a full scoop? Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Oh, sickly. I'm not... No, it looks horrible in your mouth. 
Oh, God. I'm not gagging. No, that was a lot. I'm going to do a little. Okay, I've swallowed it. Mm. It's like swallowing thick, sweet phlegm. What? <laughs> okay, right. Yeah, um, let's leave that no. then. Let's go back to the living room. Back at it again with the front room. More questions, more interviews. We have no idea what they say, so who's going first? I'll have a go. Off you pop. Okay. What is the best space film of all time? One of the easiest questions I will answer all day. Okay. Interstellar. Interstellar? Yeah. I don't know that one. I thought you were going to go with Star Wars or... You don't know Ray. Interstellar? No. I'm not it's, really a sci-fi kind of... It's not only the best... I'm going to interrupt you. You go. It's not only the best space film ever, it's my favourite film ever. Interstellar. You need to watch it, 100%. Noted, in my mind. Done. Who would play you in a biopic of your life? That's a tough one, actually. Obviously, I'd love for, like, Halle Berry to play me. Mm. But then that's just, like, find the buffest thing and be like, please play me. Mm. But Halle Berry's, she's a bit older now, so it depends at what age. As now, Whoopi Goldberg. Bang. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Nothing like me. I don't know. Um, Jessica Alba, I'd love. Oh. That's, like, reaching. If I died and people watched my film, they'd be like, she didn't look like her. No, no, no. In my no, no. I, think, I think you got that. All right, that is all we've got time for, but thank you to SkyQ for bringing us together. It's been wonderful. Um, as always, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new around here because we've got more episodes coming soon.